I'm Danny Filth from Devilment and I just wanted a moment of your time to sit and discuss some of the films seen as Halloween's coming up that influenced the making of The Great and Secret Show. Devilment's debut album out on New Clip last November the 3rd. I'm really into serial killers and it forms a backbone of um, quite a few songs on the album. So, for example, there's like things like Hannibal and Halloween, uh, Red Dragon, The Whole Silence of Lambs um, series, and your classics like The Thing, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacres, uh, obviously the originals are better than the remake. Then there's a lot of independent films, because I quite like all that quirky European stuff, and it's generally a lot ruder, like the Serbian movie, um, Taxidermia, uh, Singapore Sling, uh, House of the Devil, not European, I know, but um, another great one, T West. And then, you know, exploitation films from the 70s are uh, always a big hit, so you've got like, the Ilsa films, uh, Last House on the Left, Original I Spit on Your Grave, um, Cannibal Holocaust. Is that Cannibal Holocaust? Or f I'm not sure because I seem to have about three versions of some of the films. <laughs> Cannibal Fear Rocks, uh, Blood Sucking Freaks, obviously. Obviously. This is a good one. This is, uh, if anybody remembers, Cradle of Fear, which was the movie that Cradle of Filth did. Uh, back in 2000. This is the director Alex Shandon's new movie. Inbred! That's good for a laugh. Oh look, there's Cradle of there. Da -da. Get that kid still available in Amazon. You got Rob Zombie stuff, you know, Lords of Salem, Devil's Reject, House of Thousand Corpses, more Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Faces of Death documentaries. Um, all a little bit sick, yes I know, but it comes apart parcel of the territory. But the real gems, I feel, and I share this with some, a lot of um, uh, people in other bands, uh, Jerry Only and, and uh, Danzig and people like that, a really massive film uh, buff for really old movies as well. So my favorite probably of all time is Curse of the Demon, also known as Night of the Demon. Um, and you get over the big puppet demon thing you see straight away, which kind of gives away the whole plot. Um, it's a really, really strong, spooky, great movie. Um, and that would definitely, I would say, be a massive influence on, on the writing of The Great and Secret Show. But then you've got things like um, all the Edgar Allan Poe adaptations, like Oblong Box, Tomb Ligia, uh, mostly Vincent Price stuff, Scream and Scream Again. Fall of the House of Usher, uh, Dunnage Horror, Die Monster to Die. Also, my top 10 horror films, Vince Price in The Pit and the Pendulum, an absolutely stunning movie. Also, Mask of Red Death, another Edgar Allan Poe adaptation. And I also like my weirdo films like Haxan and The Cabinet of Dr. Galagari, all sort of silent horror. Uh, then there's more classic stuff like Burton, Tim Burton, uh, From Hell, Sleepy Hollow, uh, Perfume, that's not him, but another great film if anybody's not seen Perfume, because um, I really like my gothic car. I know. Shelley's Frankenstein, you know, Interview of Vampire, The Wolfman, um, these big luxurious sort of gothic horror um, adaptations, but they've got a bit of grit and blood to them as well. So. Uh, I think Coppola's, uh, or Bram Stoker's Dracula, as it was known, was probably one of my favourite. And it was the thing that got me into soundtracks as well. Because apart from Star Wars, it was the first time I really noticed the soundtrack and went, wow. You know, I'd listened to that independent of the film. And I have done. Intruder, great film from the 80s. Human Centipede, uh, so that's the first one. Dead Snow, uh, the original Let the Right One In, it was remade. Uh, by Hammer, I believe, um, but this was the Swedish version, and uh, yeah, really cool. Oh, Human Centipede 2, uh, I've done that, yeah, 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 yeah. American Wealth in London, that was probably the first film, um, the first film that truly terrified me. I was always into all the, sort of, if you can see those, Universal 
horror monsters and Hammer Horror and Hammer House of Horror and used to watch them as a child. Um, and then I watched, believe it or not, uh, the documentary that was the making of Thriller. During that, you get to see Roger Corman's other movies, and one of them obviously is uh, Mel Wealth in London. And I think that was a, uh, what inspired um, whoever it was. I don't know if it was Michael. But can I call him that? Mike? Yes, I can. Um, to to get. Uh, did I say Roger Corman? I meant John Landis. God, I'm a mess today. Anyway, having watched these little snippets, I badgered my dad. I must have been about eight, nine at the time. If I could, possibly, you know, he could hire me American Wolf in London. And although it's dubbed as a a black humour horror movie um, and quite satirical, um, when you're nine and you're in the, ho you know, it's dark and you're home alone, and then you see things like uh, the attack on the moors, or when he's in his hospital bed and he keeps having these recurring dreams of becoming, you know, lycanthropic, um, and his friend keeps turning up all over the place in mirrors and uh, the cinema half rotting, um, oh, and the, the, the werewolf sequence where they all burst in and kill his family, you know, that, that leaves a lasting impression on you, and I was terrified, and that began my uh, lifelong love of horror movies.